All right, now that we've set up the system with some more settings, let's take a look at the face recognition function that the system has. We can go ahead and just go to a smart configuration, go to the door access first, and let's go ahead and select temperature and face in this case. Again, if we're setting up face recognition, perhaps we also want to trigger some type of door access. Um, best practice, just enabling both here. Again, you don't have to enable both. You can select just a single option here. Um, again, this will not affect the display. The display is still going to display the temperature if I was to select only face recognition. So I'm going to go ahead and just click Save there. Now I'm going to go into the face recognition tab down here. And again, I want to enable this at this point. Face recognition enabled. You can also choose to change the setting here uh, depending how you want the rule to trigger. So for example, if you want a whitelist, so anybody who's been in there in the whitelist, and I'll show you where that is in a few seconds here, um, what happens, what trigger happens, same thing with blacklist or unregistered. Again, you have a threshold you can set here. Um, go ahead and just use the defaults here. You can also change the different types of arming plans. So all day manual input. Uh, this will allow you to actually select the times when you want this trigger to be enabled. I'm going to go ahead and just select all day for now. And then I'm going to go into the identity record here. And you're going to notice it has done a couple scans. So of course, I've been testing the unit here. Uh, the most recent one, it's doing a snapshot and it's trying to compare to some registered photo. In this case, there isn't one. Uh, however, you can see that the system was able to detect that everything is normal. This is when it occurred uh, and I was wearing a mask in this case. So now that I've actually enabled the settings here, um, I do have face mask detection enabled as well. The facial recognition library is set up. So in this case, under facial rec db, you can go ahead and go into each one of these. I'm going to go into the whitelist for now. I have added a picture of myself here. Um, again, this is just a test I've created here. And none of the information here is actually relevant at this point. But I can go ahead and add a single. This is where you would upload your people here. You can do also a batch upload. Again, you can add some more information um, supported in JPEG format, and it gives you some hints as to how to format the naming so you can bulk upload all of them in here. I'll go back to the list here. Again, I've set myself up on the whitelist. I can also choose to delete it. And when I delete this, it will actually move this over to the uncategorized group. Um, again, it's not a whitelisted group, so someone that's authorized, it's not blacklist, someone who's not authorized, it's just uncategorized at this point. And again, that's because I have uploaded something to here. If you haven't uploaded anything, all three of them will actually be at zero here under quantity. I'm gonna go back and just change this and I'm gonna select bind and add to the whitelist group. And again, this is just to show you what happens when I get scanned. Um, again, on the setup here, I've added my name. So the second I get scanned at the unit itself, it's actually gonna display my name. I'm gonna go ahead and go into remote settings as well. Go into the audio parameters and just make sure that this set a little bit higher so it's currently at 80 this is good and I'm gonna go ahead and step in front of the unit here now and in this case it gave me my name it says it passed and it triggered the alarm for wear a mask so let's actually go back to this area here and I'm gonna go back and step into the unit and this is where you'll actually be able to see a couple of things. So for example, it did the image detection. Um, it was able to recognize my face here. I was part of the whitelist group. Um, again, you have the current image and the image I've set up on the system. It adds some information that you've set up as well as attempt to recognize that there is you know, some 
some information here on the user. Um, again, it was able to detect that I have a partial beard growing, so that's pretty cool. I'm not wearing glasses, I am not wearing a mask. Let's go ahead and actually change the test again by putting on a mask. And again, I'm gonna step into the unit again. And this time it actually did not trigger a alert for the face mask, if you heard that. Um, it also was able to still recognize me even though I'm wearing a mask here. Uh, notice it gives you a percentage of how certain it is that that is you. And since I clicked on the first one here, it actually is telling me now that I've, I do have a mask on as opposed to the last image where it said that I wasn't wearing a mask. And again, this is, you can export uh, all the logs as well for each of your scans here. Um, you can also take your images as needed on this configuration. And just jumping back in here to show you the logs here. Um, again, this is under the identity record. This is what you'll be able to see. So for example, it scanned the last one we did here. It gave me the registered photo match, how similar it is, um, added some information as well. Again, I haven't set up any of this info here, but you can. And it's giving a prompt of the information. If you were to set up an alert, it will also give you the information here, temperature unit, what the temperature was, if you're wearing a mask, uh, if, if there's a fever, or if it's normal. Uh, and you can export this log as well, just hitting export. It'll allow you to download the entire record here.